What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated, welterweight, Mexican superstar title contender, Virgil Ortiz Jr. 19 wins, no loss and no draw. 19 wins by way of knockout. He is 24 years of age, 5 foot 10 with a 70 inch arm reach. He gives his thoughts on undefeated rising welterweight superstar title contender in Jerron Boots Ennis, who's viewed as a phenom. 29 wins, no loss, no draw. 27 big wins by way of knockout. He is 25 years of age, 5 foot 10 with a 74 inch arm reach. Jerron Boots Ennis and Virgil Ortiz have been linked together for quite some time, okay? And, um, uh, Virgil Ortiz recently came back. He had a, um, an injury, an illness that he suffered that saw him pull out of his last fight. But then he came back, he had another fight after that. And uh, he has not all knockouts in his uh, career, right? All in his, uh, as a professional, he's knocked all his opponents out, right? And so he's a definitely, you know, uh, um, you know, he's definitely viewed as, you know, uh, uh, somebody special in the sport of boxing. And uh, uh, Virgil Ortiz Jr. Again, it's it's like he and Jerron Boots Ennis is in the same class, okay? And um, they get compared to one another. They, I believe that they're going to forever be linked to one another, right? That's what I believe. I believe they're forever going to be linked to one another. But Jerron Boots Ennis, he was asked about. I mean, excuse me, Virgil Ortiz. He was asked about uh, fighting uh, uh, Jerron Boots Ennis, to which. He stated that, you know, um, he would fight anybody, right? He stated that I'll fight anybody. You put him in front of me, I'll fight him. Whether it be Keith Thurman, former unified welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, whether it be uh, Errol Spence Jr., undefeated unified three belt WB, WBC, WBA, well, w, uh, B, um, IBF welterweight world champion, superstar boxer. And then he said, Jerron Ennis, absolutely, right? And then he stated that, you know, um, he was asked about what do you think about Jerron Boots Ennis? What do you think about his skill set? And everybody raves about Jerron Boots Ennis, to which Virgil Ortiz, he stated that, I he don't think much of Jerron Ennis. He just said, well, he's a good fighter. And he said it, I don't want to say much about him because then it comes across as if, I'm hating on him or uh, um, I'm downplaying him as a fighter and his skill set, right? Which leads me to believe that you don't think very highly of Jerome Boutinis. He just said he's a good fighter. He said, but if I say uh, something, you know, uh, then people are going to say, well, I'm hating on Jerome Boutinis. Well, my thing is, what would you say about Jerome Boutinis that would lead people to believe that you are hating on Jerome Boutinis or disliking on Jerome Boutinis, okay? What possibly could Virgil Ortiz Jr. possibly say about Jerome Boutinis that's gonna lead people to believe uh, that, you know, you're downplaying Jerome Boutinis or you don't think highly of him? That statement alone is gonna lead people to believe that you don't think highly of him, okay? Uh, um, just the fact that you're saying that, you know, um, you can't, you don't wanna say much about him because then it's gonna lead people to to, to that type of uh, um, conclusion, right? And so, with that said, this is a fight people have been talking about about quite some time. They've been linking the two together, Jerron Ennis, Virgil Ortiz, right? When are we gonna see Jerron Ennis and Virgil Ortiz fight against each other? And uh, a member of Virgil Ortiz team, they stated that they need 48 months when initially asked about fighting uh, Jerron Boutinis, even about 48 months, we'll be ready. Well, we can count, and that's about four years, okay? Uh, 48 is 12 months in a year, so 48 is 12 times two is 24, 24 times two is 48, that's four years. You, you're saying that you need to prepare for Jerron Boutinis. Jerron Boutinis is the, you know, Virgil Ortiz is a pressure fighter, He's an exciting fighter, he's a Mexican style fighter. And uh, you know, he brings it, right? Uh, 
But the thing about Virgil Ortiz is that physically he's uh, uh, limited in the capacity of Jerron Boots Ennis when you compare the two. Jerron Boots Ennis, Virgil Ortiz is a very, very big, you know, uh, um, welterweight, right? But uh, Jerron Ennis is just as big, but he's longer, right? And what I mean by that is this, he's five foot 10 as well, but he's five foot 10 with a 74 inch arm reach. Virgil Ortiz is five foot 10 with a 70 inch arm reach. Jerron Ennis is very, very athletic, very explosive, ability to switch from self to orthodox, right? Uh, very fast hands, very fast feet. That's what's most important. That's why they're not eager to jump in the ring with Jerron Boots Ennis. The biggest thing and issue they have with fighting Jerron Boots Ennis is not his hand speed because timing can beat hand speed. Okay, the problem with them with Jerron Boots Ennis is his foot speed. Jerron Boots Ennis' foot speed is a major problem for them. Okay, because Virgil Ortiz, you can't you can't make up for that that foot speed. You can't compensate. There's no timing to beat foot speed. You understand? Uh, uh, timing can beat hand speed. Timing is not going to beat foot speed. It's just not going to happen, right? And so, with that said, you know that's the biggest issue because uh, uh, Jerome Boots Ennis is the total package. He has hand speed and foot speed, right? And that is the problem, right? Because he can match uh, 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 the power, and he has power. So he just don't have the hand speed and the foot speed, but he also have. Uh, uh, a lot of power okay very very strong very very powerful very very precise very very accurate and that's the problem that's why they want to stay away from uh jerron boots ennis and so for him to say well you know I, he's just a good fighter what do you want me to say about him that's what he said he said what do you want me to say about him you know i just look at him and i say that uh he's a good fighter that's what he said so virgil ortiz he don't he he don't have you know uh he's not eager to jump in the ring with uh uh Jerron Boots Ennis, right? Because uh uh Jerron Boots Ennis is a serious problem for Virgil Ortiz Jr. Point blank and period. He's a major problem for uh uh Jerron Boots Ennis. He he has you know all the total package, right? Uh just finishing this up. Finish this up. He got all the total package that uh, um, is going to give Virgil Ortiz tons and tons and tons of problems. That's why he's not eager to jump in the ring. He's just as big as him, has the same amount of power as him, but he got quicker feet, quicker hands, uh, uh, just as young as he does, young as he is. But he got better timing. He's accurate with his punches. He's precise with his punches. But ultimately, it's the foot speed. That's the problem for Virgil Ortiz when it comes to Jerome Boots Ennis. The foot speed. Virgil Ortiz just can't keep up with him with the foot speed and the movement and the in and out and the ability to switch from South Quarter Orthodox is going to give Virgil Ortiz tons and tons of problems. That's why they said they need 48 months to fight him. 48 months is four years. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share the videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.